So I'm going to be installing um, some aluminum, uh, uh, oh, f me. Air dam, air dam. What's up guys, it's Clay here from Barris Engineering and today what I'm going to be doing is some DIY downforce here on my personal Subaru BRZ. Essentially here in the future what I'm going to be doing is installing a larger rear wing so I want to balance out that front arrow as much as possible at this point in time. So essentially what I'm going to be doing today, shout out to my guys over Professional Awesome Racing. Um, I have these nice little universal front uh, splitter diffusers, I'm going to be putting one of those on each side. And then since I do have our composite adjustable splitter extended out to the, the five uh, inches, I do have a slight bit of a gap there between the splitter and the front bumper. So I'm gonna kind of be doing some, uh, some custom front air dams today with some aluminum. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. And uh, I guess stay tuned. All right, so now what you can see I did, I'm going to start this air dam directly in the center of the splinter and go outwards. Um, so what I did was measure, this is just about 16 and a half inches apart um, here. So about eight and a quarter is the middle. Um, so I made that line all the way there. So right here is where I'm going to start the edge of this and we're just gonna feed it around the side of the splitter. Now actually what I'm gonna do while I'm doing this, um, so I know where this is going to sit, I'm going to follow this edge here um, with some tape so the edge of the tape will be where this sits. So then once I get the splitter off, I'll be able to drill um, through for the mounting locations. All right, as you can see, I do have the air dam pretty much mocked up right now with some tape. Um, I went along that leading edge right there with painter's tape so I know where to place it to drill my holes. So now the next step, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the car up a little bit in the front so I can get up underneath. While the splitter's still on, I kind of want to place the front diffusers. And then once we get uh, the front diffusers kind of placed where we want them, we'll pull the splitter off. We'll cut the ends off of the aluminum so we can put those on on the splitter. And then we'll go on with the front diffusers. All right, guys, please apologies for the strobe light over here. Um, but there is the front diffuser. I have it taped on right now. Um, as you can see, I do have it towards um, the inner side of that wheel well. Big reason because we do have a mounting point um, right here that we want to stay away from. So I have that kind of taped in place right now. So now what we'll do is remove the splitter and then we'll work on getting these installed into the splitter. All right, so once we figure out where these are gonna be placed, like I said, I did put these on the bottom, um, but I kind of have a general good idea of where it goes here on top. So this is the top side of the splitter, as you can see where my uh, clevises are. So essentially how this is gonna mount, let me show you the other side real quick. So I have this side complete. Um, so it kind of comes up from the bottom side and then it, it bolts on with some uh, flathead cap screws and nylock nuts. So to get to that point, what we are going to need to do is since this is on top of the splitter, we're gonna to wanna to drill through. Um, I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different places. The air dam's gonna go right here, so I'm gonna to have to cut this a little bit as well, um, but we'll start by drilling our holes here. All right, now with our holes drilled, what we're gonna to wanna to do before we start cutting, we're gonna to wanna to lay our lines, and so since that's where it's gonna screw, we want our lines inside. So essentially I'm gonna put this in just a little bit. All right, now comes for the fun part. Um, obviously do your, your double checking to make sure you have all your, your lines straight. Looks like this line's not quite as straight as I wanted. Um, so I will relay it. But once you get all this set up, um, I'm going to cut right on the inside of this tape um, all the way through here inside the tape and then along the blue line here, along the blue line there. Kind of limited on cutting equipment right now. Best thing to do would probably be a jigsaw. Um, I am currently using an electric uh, reciprocating saw. Um, it worked fine on the other side. Band saw would have worked a little nicer, but you do have multiple ways of figuring out how to cut this. All right, now that you can see my terrible cutting job, um, I'm gonna take some, some fine grit sandpaper here just to kind of clean up the edges in that bottom side. You're gonna want this bottom side as flat as possible. 
so that um, this will sit flush down here. Um, and the next step is gonna be figuring out where we need to cut this. And then we'll also be cutting off the edges here just to give us some clearance up underneath the car. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take a few of these and since our holes are drilled, we want to place this guy in the spot where it's gonna be. Granted, it's gonna be on the bottom side, but we wanna hold this into place as best as possible. Put one more in here. Then we'll get some skinny painter's tape. And since I'm following the line of my, whatchamacallit, um, air dam, we're gonna have to cut off just a tad. After we got those out, we want to line it up on the bottom side. And now we'll do the same thing even, but we'll put the bolts in from the bottom side. Come on, bub. All right, so that blue line looks like it's still the line that we need. So now we're gonna take this over to the bandsaw and cut it. One last thing that I do wanna show you that I forgot to cut while I was in there. Um, so I do have this nice area cut, so that fits in there nice. Um, but to give us clearance on the car, I have used snips to snip that there. We're basically gonna cut across and down just to cut and give us more clearance up under the car. Now it is time to install. Um, got it all cut. Looks like she's gonna line up everywhere. So what I'm doing, I'm using some 20 millimeter M4 flatheads goes through there, goes up in the car, and then we're using a nylock nut on the top side. Um, these will resist backing off, so you don't have to worry about these ever coming loose. Now it's time to tighten her up. Since I'm using M4s, and I like nuts, I got a seven millimeter socket here and an Allen wrench. Nice, so there's that. That is all on. Um, so now I'm actually waiting on my buddy Kyle to bring me some black plastic epoxy. Um, basically what I'm gonna do with the black plastic epoxy, I'm just gonna go around the edges here um, on the inside just to seal it up, make sure that there's no extra airflow. And it also give this front a little bit added strength because um, I wasn't able to put very many nuts up front. But with those, some black plastic epoxy, I think that'll seal up real nice. And while we're waiting on that, we are going to start working on the air dam. Okay, so now that we got the air dam outside, so I do want to give you guys just a kind of heads up. This air dam that I have, this is actually the reverse of our Supra air dam, or our Supra splitter air dam that we're working on. Um, this one didn't quite work out for fitment, so we're, we're working on a revised one, but it lined up really well with the bumper, so I basically just flopped it around. Um, so if this is something that you would like to do to your splitter, give me a holler, shoot me an email, I'm sure I can figure out something to get you these. Um, but essentially what I have to do here to get this to work, it's gonna hang over the edge a little bit too far. I'm not too worried about uh, the area back here because it's gonna get covered up with that end plate. But right here where that bent down tab is, I'm gonna cut these lines straight up so it'll sit flush with the back side of the bumper. Basically, you remember back when I had this on the car, um, I had this all mocked up. We have the tape lines here. So essentially, this is, this is the hard corner to bend on this side since it's the thicker. So basically what we're gonna do after we kind of have our basic shape from the bumper, we have our middle section line here. We're gonna go one by one. So I'm gonna drill a hole in this first one. We're gonna use M6 hardware. Uh, probably a 16, 20 millimeter um, should go on that side, a washer, and then we're gonna use a nut on top. Um, and like I said, we're gonna drill here, put that in, drill here, put it in, and just go all the way around. So as you can see, I do have the nut on here. These are 20 millimeters. 20 millimeters work just fine. Um, we're not gonna hand tighten them down because we want a little bit of leeway here. Um, that way, when we put it on the car, um, we can make final adjustments there before uh, cranking her down. All right, so there is one side installed. 
turned out really nice, I think. Um, as you can see on this side, like I said, you do have some play here. You do want to have a little bit of play back and forth um, for when we get it on the car. But all those are installed, so I'm going to go ahead and install the other side, and then we'll work on getting this baby back on the car. All right, guys, so I've got the splitter all complete. There is what she looks on the underside. Um, I'll get you a little bit closer view there. Um, hopefully you can see that in the camera. But there is the front diffuser installed. Um, and then as you can see, I do have um, the air dam on as well. Um, I haven't tightened these all. Like I said, once I get it on the car, I will hit all these because they're serrated nuts on the bottom side or the top side. So they will uh, pretty much hold themselves and, and crank themselves tight. Um, but yeah, as far as that goes, uh, we'll get it on the car. Um, and you can kind of see up in, oops. You can kind of see up in here, um, I did go ahead, I used some uh, JB plastic welds, it's black, um, just to kind of get through there so there's no air that comes in the bottom. I think it turned out really nice, so let's get it back on the car and uh, let's see what it looks like. There is the air dam all installed. I might get this thing powder coated, just clean it up a little bit easier. Let me get you a light down here. There is, that's the nasty side. That one wasn't quite as good. But here is the other side that turned out pretty nice, um, as you can see up in there. Um, so there's your DIY downforce. Well guys, that's it for today. Um, that's, that's my uh, 101 on DIY downforce. I just wanna say a shout out again to Professional Awesome for the, the front diffusers that we used here today. Um, and if this might interest you guys, something like this, we might think about bringing something into production. Uh, so shoot us an email if this would interest you and, uh, and we'll see if we can do it. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all the social medias. If you have any uh, questions at all, please don't hesitate to shoot us an email, give us a call, and until next time.